Jordan Zarcis here with you today, and I got a few things that I want to do and go over. So, again, we got the free mod truck here. It's all free mods. Haven't spent a dime on it. Now, I set it up a little bit differently. Every video, I'm sure you'll see it set up differently. Um, if you guys would like to know how I did the realistic engine on the front for when I put a hard body on it, leave a comment and I will make a video on that if you guys would like to know. Other than that, what we're gonna do today is go through some tires. So, I've got the stock deadbolt Neato tires on here right now. And they're just, you know, I don't know. You get that plasticky shine on them. I don't know if you can, there you go, that plasticky shine. Like you get any other tire, and you get that rubbery shine, but not so much of a plasticky shine just doesn't look realistic to me and it's just I don't even know if there's foams in here like it doesn't feel like it like they're just no, no sidewalls to them really like they're just really finicky I don't don't really like them to be honest um so we're gonna do a run on Paradise Pike with it with this truck and these tires and see how it does and then we'll move on to the C10 tires and then move on to a couple other sets um, so we got, yeah, we got the stock C10 tires right here, which I find are actually really good for coming from factory, like, wow, really nice. Then we have, up next, is the aluminum rims. You can get these ones off Amazon. Uh, they were 30 bucks with the tires. Uh, super swampers. Now... I wanted a set of Super Swampers when I ordered these. In the pictures, they were way more aggressive looking and the tread was way more taller. Like these may look dirty, but mind you, I have not really used these very much and they're just not like the tread. There's more tread on the factory C10 tires. See, look at how deep those tread are. And though these are used. So I don't know. If you would like to pick a set of these up, you can get them off Amazon, like I said, but they're nice for, you know, off-roading and stuff, but they're just not uh, off-road mud race and super swampers I was expecting. And so, yeah, that's them. We're going to do a video on those two as well. And then we have the Hyrex Pro-Line wheels and tires. Now, these are everywhere right now, and they are wonderful. I'm sure you're going to see a lot more videos than just mine out there on them, but Wow. Let me say, they're wonderful. The only thing that can go wrong with these ones is if you screw the screws in too tight on the back, they will crack. Pay attention to that. Don't use electric anything. Just screw me with your hands because you'll crack them apart. But other than that, wow. Really good grip. Some deep tread. Sidewalls are nice. Got some nice grip on the sidewalls too as well. The rims are just, you know, you know, plastic, plain Jane rims, nothing fancy. I painted the studs and stuff red so it match all my c10 truck over there it's got all the red accents on it so yeah we'll do a video on all all sets and we'll see what they do all right guys so we got the stock deadbolt wheels and tires on here and we're just gonna try and go and see you know the traction with it and see how well it does so right away on this little bit of slant here you can see it just slides right down there's just no grip at all not only that, you know, this truck is pretty light, but I should be able to grip more than that. There we go. See the rear end slides right off almost. All right, back it up here a bit. All right, let's see how, how it does when we try and get through this gravel wood pit section. Not bad, not bad. Get up here on an angle so we can get up. Okay, so we're up. I'm just gonna try going slow here. Oh, so see that took a good, you know. We'll try that again here. So, you see that delay there, I mean. It's not bad, but not really impressive for a 
factory tire either, especially because the C10 factory tires you're about to see next. Wow, they are way more impressive than this. Let me say. Let's see, let's uh, try and crawl down these. Oh, yeah. And get up over these rocks nicely here. Try and get up here nicely. So not bad, not bad. Now we'll try the next ones. Awesome. All right guys, we're back at Paradise Park again and we've got the C10 factory rims and tires on this truck now. Before we had the stock deadbolt ones and you guys saw, you know, it had quite a bit of slippage and everything. So we're gonna go ahead with these ones and see what it'll do, all right? Still, still pretty slippery, but not as bad. Oh, rolled it. All right. Oh, maybe a little bit worse then. I'm not sure. I don't know. Get it again. I definitely do believe that these have a little bit more weight to them. And my truck is pretty light again, so that might be why it's sliding there. But let's get onto the dirt. All right. The servo horn. So it got up there way better. I'm gonna try that one more time. You guys remember what the, oh, the deadbolt tires did. These are the stock factory C10 ones, remember? So it gets up there quicker. So it definitely does have a little bit more grip to them, but again, they still slide off rocks pretty good, I find. I find the tires don't have that soft compound like some of the factory ones or aftermarket ones you can get. Definitely takes over the rocks better though. The yeah, sidewalls don't fold on you like the other ones do. All right, we'll try a different set. All right guys, we're back and we got the Super Swampers with the aluminum rims on. Now, it will be a bit heavier because of the aluminum rims obviously. And we'll get a little bit better grip just because of the weight. But I'm sure you're gonna still see the flaws that these tires have as like I said, on the online when I wanted to buy them, they look 10 times more aggressive. And I was pretty, I was pretty bummed out when I figured out that they almost barely had any tread on them. So, but we'll give them a go. You ready? So definitely right away around that corner, I didn't slide at all almost. The weight of the wheels and tires definitely help it. See, and this is an important point right here. I mean, I should be getting tons of grip, especially within the dirt and on the wood, but it just won't bite, it won't grab. See, I had to go past that point instead of over it because it wouldn't grab. Now, we'll see here how it does. Oh, see, almost like, it almost, nothing almost. A little bit of slippage that time. Not bad, but again, that's mainly because of the weight of the wheels and tires together. I mean, they are aluminum and it does produce quite a bit of weight compared to the factory plastic wheels and tires. See, you still get slippage on those rocks there with these tires. Not bad, not bad, but again, the weight definitely does help these tires get over things, but I'm still not impressed with the actual grip with the tires. If I was to throw these tires on some plastic rims, I guarantee you it'd almost go nowhere. All right, we're gonna throw another set on and we'll be right back. 
All right, we're back with the new Pro-Line Hyrex wheels and tires. And we're gonna, we're gonna test them out and see how well they do on a truck that doesn't have too much weight. And we're gonna give it a go. I hope they don't let me down because these are, you know, they're on the top right now for the best wheels and tires. Um, we'll give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just like nothing. Didn't even slip on that corner. Oh, wow. Look at it chew up that. Wow. You see that? Wow. It's like nothing. It's like, no oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Let me tell you. If you're looking for wheels and tires, go with Pro Line. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really enjoy them. They're honestly, they do the trick. Again, here quickly. Watch this corner. Every other tire slid right off almost. Wow, look at that. Going over this wood piece, most of the tires wouldn't, wouldn't bite on it. Look at that, right over. Just like nothing. Wow, look at it, chew that dirt up too. Look at that. Nice. All right, guys, if you uh, like this video and want to leave a comment, that would be awesome. Smash the like and subscribe and enjoy. There will be more videos coming up. Thank you.